I'm here with you wherever you are. If you are at our home in the mountains, I'm with you. And if you're at mommy's home here in the south, I'm with you too. Rainy days don't seem so wet. Stormy nights don't stay. From the moment that we met, you're worth the wait. Wow, that's a good one. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful that you are in my life and you call out the best in me. Thank you for doing that. I only slept for a couple of hours last night because I was really, really moved by yesterday's experiences. If you haven't watched yesterday's video, watch that. It will make everything today will make more sense if you know what happened yesterday. Leo went to a regular kindergarten and it was a total disaster. <laughs> and in the night I couldn't sleep and then I edited yesterday's video during the night and I relived through yesterday's experiences and I made the decision to do anything I can so that Leo does not need to go to this kindergarten. Yeah, that's good, huh? Good watermelon. Which means that for the for the weeks that Leo is with, with Elena with his mommy here in Uluwatu in the south of Bali. I will come with him. Papa? Mm -hmm. mm. Watermelon juice, huh? Although I would love to stay full time in my beautiful mountain jungle home, I cannot send this little one just out of lack of people to care for him to this kindergarten that feels so wrong. Where children are treated like. Kite. Kite? Kite? Yeah. yeah. Papa! Yeah. Oh. oh, that looks very good. Very sweet. My first impression when we, when we drove there, when we entered the property, was like. Oh, this feels like a high security prison because there were always oh, like doors and boxes and fences and this is so far away from the setting I envision for Leo and other children that I'm happy to sacrifice my place, my home for two weeks, a month. Ah. Yeah, that's good, huh? Yeah. That's a sweet watermelon semanka. Okay. So that I'm able to support Elina in caring for Leo. Talk for hours and never slept Two silhouettes on the concrete steps We watched the sun as it slowly crept From the horizon to the place we met Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know what a miracle, what a miracle that nature gives us with these algae growing here. You don't need any salt, you can eat them like salt. Salty. Mm. Mm. They are very good. They are very, very good. Nature gifts us with so many things that we aren't even aware of. Yeah. The gift is at the center 
of life. Everything important in life was given to us. Our birth and our children wow. and the fresh air we breathe and the water and the elements and the rocks and like everything. The gift is at the, at the core of life so the only sensible place from which to embark, la and lo embark on this journey called life is gratitude. Gratitude and paying it forward and spreading your own gifts that were gifted to you. Oi! They're so small, huh? And they're just growing here. And you can put them in your salad. Or snack them like they are. Good, huh? Mmm, salty. So that's the reason why I'm working in the gift economy because selling your own gifts that were given to you feels kind of inappropriate to me. <laughs> when something was a gift, you can't sell it. You can't sell the gift of your best friend for Christmas. You can give it away, you can pass it on. This is what you can do. Hmm. Currently receiving beautiful gifts from our Custodiapreneurs participants. The program has started on Sunday. Today will be our next session. Very grateful to receive those offerings at the beginning of the journey. It feels completely, completely different than selling anything and putting a price tag on it and checking your Coop card or your PayPal and... Ubud? <laughs> We're not an Ubud, huh? We're not an Ubud, we're an Uluwatu. <laughs> but we can go to Ubud soon. Yeah. Yeah. He was filming me? That's good. We just had a yeah? we just had a little plunge yeah. in the ocean. A little refresher. Hola. You wanna go back to the scooter? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Always following Leo's impulses. Life gets very Hola. easy when you just follow the impulses of the little ones. When you come with your own schedule of like first this, then that, huh? Life is hard because you always need to adjust them and they don't want to be adjusted. But if I just follow Leo's impulses when he's hungry, when he wants to go there, when he wants to change places, life is easy, yeah? No. Yeah, we just follow your impulses. No. When you want to go to the scooter, we go to the scooter. When you want to eat watermelon, we eat watermelon. When you want to go to the ocean, we go to the ocean. <laughs> and when you want to rest, then we rest. <laughs> Simple as that. Okay. Hola. Voila, yeah. Thank you for nourishing us. Papa? That's this little part that is already bad. Maka si semanka. Back to nature. Oh. Flower. Papa flower. Oh. oh, beautiful flower. Baby flower. Baby flower? Baby flower, we can oh. bring that for mommy too, huh? Let's ah. bring gifts. More flower? Mm -hmm. All the snails in the pocket, we take them all. What became really obvious for me during the night was the if it's my intention that Leona doesn't need to say goodbye to his loved ones to create a place where all his loved ones can be around Papa. him all the time like a family, community, home Good. if this is my intention Good. that Leo doesn't need to say bye bye <laughs> I need to make the first step uh. to create a setting where he doesn't need to say bye bye to me Papa. and what the other family Papa. members do is is up to them Maybe they will get inspired by that. I'm here with you, wherever you are. If you are at our home in the mountains, I'm with you. And if you're at mommy's home here in the south, I'm with you too. You don't need Papa. to say goodbye. Yeah. Let's move on. Hmm. Papa. Yeah. Papa. Oh, yeah, and a raupe. A little caterpillar. Hmm. Feels like the right thing to do.
Yeah. Here, yeah, the nanny is dead already. It le already left the house. House is empty. The nanny left it. No snail in the house. Nanny. Yeah, nanny toad. Nanny. These little leaves, they are edible. You can eat them. Mm -hmm. Put them on the salad. Mm. Mm, good, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. It tastes a little bit like rocket, mild and nutty. Good. So many gifts, so many treasures in nature. We just need to relearn where to look. <laughs> this guy that we just saw is running the streets up and down. Why would you do that if you could just create a life where you're using your physical capabilities for something meaningful, not just to run up and down stairs, <laughs> which has no no effect. What if you could plant trees and harvest fruit and carry children and chop wood? Like these things are deeply missing in our modern over comfortable lives. And as a result we create those artificial outlets just to move our bodies. Yeah. Why would we do that? Yeah. <laughs> Why would we do that if we could just align ourselves with with the natural world and with our physical capabilities? Yeah, with breakfast, that. lunch and dinner place. Pretty much the only place in the whole area where I find something nice to eat. Yeah. It's a beautiful place. Some breakfast? Yeah? Yeah? Let's, let's check the breakfast bar. Mm. How's the breakfast, mister? Is the breakfast good? Pudding. Pudding? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like pudding, huh? We got a chocolate chocolate uh, banana smoothie. Mmm. For breakfast too. Today must be a special day. Torta. Yeah, torta. Or oh, it's just another ordinary day. Because it's a raw Snickers cake. It's basically. Mmm. Mmm. It's healthy and delicious, huh? Torta. Yeah, torta. Back in the house. Leo had a nap. I prepared the second session of the Custodiopreneurs, my brand new online group business coaching program. But like calling it a business coaching program doesn't fit it. It's much more. It's much, much more. And then uh, Elena left with Leo. Um, to do some errands and I have space to host this very special session. Mm. Sacred work. It's sacred work to play with Leo this morning for five hours and collect mussels and explore algae and be in the water and eat watermelon and like all that. It's a sacred expression of myself and hosting containers like these Ah, oh, it's something completely else, and it's equally beautiful. <sighs> and at the same time, it's quite a stretch to host something big. What I'm hosting, something big. <sighs> Let's dive in. Talk for hours and never slept. Two silhouettes on the concrete steps. Oh, friends, we just finished 
the session. Mm, 90 minutes of just pure, pure goodness. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. One of the main themes was the question of what is needed right now? Becoming a wizard, a spiral wizard, means integrating all the different components, integrating orange entrepreneurship and drive, integrating green sensitivity and um, connectedness with your emotions and with your desires and needs, and integrating blue structure and attention to detail, and integrating yellow broad perspective systemic thinking integrating all those parts integrating red straightness setting boundaries <clears throat> and really being like crystal clear on what is your path and what is not your path like integrating all these parts enable us to really serve what is needed and that's the journey right now what is needed is supporting my son in this transition process sure it's not my favorite to for two weeks in the day move to a place that really doesn't feel like home for me and at the same time this is what's needed right now and I have the capabilities to do so <clears throat> and that's why I will do it yeah what's needed is a is a very good very yellow very systemic question instead of what's in it for me Asking the question, what is needed in this system that I'm navigating right now? What is needed in my job? What is needed in my family container? What is needed for my health? What is needed for the state of the world? And then serving that. Yeah. <clears throat> this is an essential trait of being a custodian, being a caretaker, being a steward of the more beautiful world. <clears throat> and what a custodian equally needs as rest and regeneration and recharging your own batteries and this is what will be my focus for the rest of the day and tomorrow thank you for coming look i see from the horizon to the place we met oh this could be the best thing that i'll ever know